What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for a super quick video and today I'll be talking about speed with ball rating. Around the first week of the release, I made a video about it already, so this one here will be just a follow up video and with more insights. In here we'll talk about if it's really useless as some other players think and we'll find out as well if there's any relation between speed with ball and quick first step badge and acceleration. So this one here will have lots of details, so make sure to watch it fully so it will make full sense. It's not going to be that long anyway, and after watching, please let me know in the comment section what I think about it. So now let's get right into it. So first, let's talk about what speed with ball really do. So basically, it is your movement speed while dribbling, but it doesn't concern your first couple of steps. In here you can see that's minimum and maximum speed with ball, and even up to here, they're still the same. You can even notice as well that even their animations are the same as well. Just the proof that speed with ball is not kicking in yet, even up to this point. So basically, if you watch this in real time, speed with ball is the cruising speed. And here you can notice, after you explode, your player will start to run steady. So that's the point that it's using speed with ball already. Acceleration won't be used at that point, speed with ball will take care of the rest. And to give you an idea about the distance between different ratings, if you run from that point to another, just like what you see on the clips, this difference here is around 74 point gap of speed with ball. And if you cut it in half, that'll be around 37. And if you cut it in half again, that'll be around 18, and so forth. It might fluctuate for a bit depending on the height of the build, but it will be somewhere around those gaps. So now for the main topic, is speed with ball useless for your build or not? Let's find out after these quick messages. So before we proceed, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed testings on stuff like badges, attributes, jump shots, dribbling styles, and lots of other stuff. And I'm doing YouTube full time, so expect a lot of videos. Last year, I made like around 400 videos. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Trust me, I got you covered for the whole year. So now going back, is the speed with ball really useless? I think there's no really solid answer for that one because it may be useless in some cases and otherwise in some cases. But I think the closest to a solid answer for this one here is that for the most part, it's not that useful. I don't think you need to max it in most builds. Just reach the minimum requirements you want for your SIGs or the amount of playmaking badges you want. I think the part of speed with ball that makes it really doubtful if it's even useful is how late it starts to kick in and how the game is being played. So those two factors really played a big part. I think that's even the reason why they took out downhill badge in the first place. If you watched my video last year, I really flagged downhill badge as a really useless badge. Some players even didn't agree with my take, but now look, it is gone. Yeah, this one here is a decent gap, but you gotta keep in mind that you need to cover that long of a distance on a straight path without doing some behind the backs, hessies or crossover moves before you can even see a reasonable gap. And we all know as well that no matter what mode you play, you don't sprint the ball straight like that. If it's a fast break sequence, you usually receive the ball around this point and you just need to take 2-4 steps before dunking and that won't use speed with ball that much. Or if you're bringing the ball down, you're not going to sprint straight anyway. In here you can see that if I start around half court up to this point, that's a 74 point gap already. Imagine if it's like 10-20 to 20 point gap, <laughs> you won't even notice it. So now I might ask, Chutes, then what stuff can make you faster on those first couple of steps? Mainly, it's going to be your quick first step badge and acceleration. And to give you an idea about the distance, here's the comparison between no quick first step badge and with Hall of Fame quick first step badge. And here's the 40 point gap acceleration. So now for the main question, does your build need speed with ball? So if you don't even dribble straight this long, speed with ball is not that useful for your build. I'm not saying that put it on super low or 25 in there, I don't think you can even do that because it's tied up to your ball handle rating anyway and you need it for your SIGs. My point here is that if ever you already reach the minimum requirement for your desired SIGs or playmaking badges, you don't need to push it more. Might as well spend those extra points somewhere else. Maybe you can unlock more badges if you invest it on a different place. But of course, if you think that your build dribbled the ball that long straight, which is kinda rare, then yes, speed with ball will be useful for your build. Max it as you please. So again, please let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Do you agree on how 2K set it up or you want it to be changed? So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. 
And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.